We can bask in the gluttony of Zion Williamson for his fat ass. Somehow finessing $190 million from the Pelicans organization. And I hate saying that, but it's time for the Pelicans to know he's already above his con- his rookie contract evaluation. He hasn't played a full season since the bubble. Or at least depicted over 65 games of uh, qualified games even pushed him to All-NBA status. Zion Williamson, I, I think most people can probably say, knowing a 4-16 and 16 margin, knowing his injury... Knowing his health, his playability, his impact over on the team. And people just saying this just because of the small market. I remember the most low IQ front, uh, discussions when it came over to when it comes to potential of an athlete. And we just bought, bring over the personnel of the fucking front office. When most people depicted his weight being an issue. His discipline being an issue, his mentality being an issue, but somehow because New Orleans has gumbo, jambalaya and shit, means that he has a pass. From what results? He only made one play in appearance out of his six seasons with the New Orleans Pelicans over like their three appearances in the playoffs. And most of them were first round exits. They acquired J.J. Redick. Daniel Tice, Jeremiah Robinson Earl has been a good acquisition. Brandon Ingram is wasting his career for a top option that won't play. Then you trade over for CJ McCollum. And now I have to hear, and I've been hearing from rumors, even JJ Redick, formerly in Orleans Pelicans over the twilight of his career before he became a pseudo journalist into a head coach. He was publicly saying that Zion can't communicate with a majority of his teammates. How is this fat bitch that already succumbed to a porn star in the before he turns 25 and we coming around trusting him with the keys to the to the team all because he could drop 22 to 26 with bare, bare minimum of a long range shot to actually impact over in the game. And last season he played an exceptional amount of time. I don't know what's the investment cycle knowing they haven't had a 50 win season in their existence making no conference fi- uh, not only their deepest run being a conference semifinals appearance back in 2007 to 8 when they were back to the New Orleans Hornets and that was when Chris Paul was on the team they've wasted Zion uh, majority of Anthony Davis's year and we didn't even hear when he was uh with health issues except when it came to his actual knees giving in until they only had half a season of DeMarcus Cousins. And then we got a guy that's been given the keys and peeked over to the hype of just being the potential face of the NBA. And yet we got a criminal being most more, more profitable than him. I'm talking about John Moran. I'm making a joke. But besides that, it's like, what's the investment we're trying to get out of this? Majority are saying to Daniel Jones him or wave him before his contract expires or the biggest... Uh, you know, aggregate to this, because guess what? Zion gets what he wants. Come today, he'll play the New York Knicks, but he won't get to play the Knicks. You know why? Because he's fucking injured again, and the most we get out of him when it comes to what he could do is get a Baki tat, but the only thing is, the demon tattoo looks like he got abs on the back. Zion got fat rules on the back. He looks like Tyson Fury, not Mike Tyson, not even old Mike Tyson. He at least looks fit for a man his age. We got Zion coming around already getting chicken cutlets put over for him and sandwiches made during the middle of the tattoo because we can't talk about Zion without food. I understand it's possibly difficult, and I don't even know how is it difficult for a man his age to, you know, go work out. Do rehab. Disciplinary, like, watch his team. Go support his team. Go train. Stay in a stricter diet while recovering smoothly. While doing some things he likes. And you come around in such poor condition. 
I don't even know. Majority of guys that even recover from like ankle tears or stuff like that, they lose a lot of weight, lose a lot of muscle. How do you gain more weight? This ni this nigga is stress eating. He is cope eating. This guy is a pregnant bitch as your franchise player. Pelicans, there's not even a minimum amount of stock for somebody that could have that could have costed you 200 million over a couple first round picks and a couple key options to recover. Because who's willing to make the sacrifice? Not the New Orleans, not the Charlotte Hornets. Not even the Sacramento Kings, not even the Detroit Pistons. Not even the T Portland Trailblazers. Teams that are legitimately trying to push over for something beyond a lottery pick for Cooper Flag. So why would they want that for a washed up, overly obese Zion Williamson that already gave out to his, uh, that already gave away from his last uh, agent. Maybe because he ate his Thanksgiving food. And, and the worst part, bro, I think we had, uh, we have expansion franchises that probably played more games than Zion Williamson over these past couple of years. We have, it's been since uh, 2019. We keep forgetting it is 2019, and RJ Barrett has shown more promise as a rook after his rookie contract, being a primary option for a struggling, uh, the uh, you know Toronto Raptors team. What's the investment that you're getting out of this guy if he can barely play? Well, at least RJ Barrett had to place a some odd young spot up option when he's obviously better with the ball in his hand. And if we're looking now, it seems like no point over investment. Knowing the injury crisis that they had losing DeJounte Murray, Jose Alvarado, Jordan Hawkins, Brandon Ingram, Herbert Jones, and then Zion is out. Not to, not for a close return, it remains uh, timeable. Like, what's even the point of investment out of this guy? Because nearing his prime and he's shown no... Uh, if he already doesn't even get results over your team, he has more off-court um, off impact than in-court impact. I trade him. You can't even push him over to the G League because that would just be a waste of a waste of investment. We got reputable starters. Darius Garland was drafted after him. What's he doing right now? Second best team in the Eastern Conference. Well, number one right now. Rui Hachimura is a key piece on the Lakers. Cam Reddish still has a contract. Cameron Johnson has been one of the better shooters in the NBA. P.J. Washington literally made the finals last season. Tyler Hero is a sharpshooter for the Miami Heat. Nick Kyle Alexander Walker is a key defensive unit for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Matisse Thibel is a starter sometimes for the Trailblazers. John Morant's one of the more popular players, and I don't even think like he should have been drafted over him. Oh, but you're a hater. Zion Williamson is an athletic Larry, ripoff Larry Johnson, so I gotta like him because he dunks like LeBron James. So that obviously, th LeBron James was already NBA ready off high school and got drafted off that. Knowing his tendencies to evolve his ability went beyond his rookie season. So uh, LeBron came from a playmaking slashing forward that has a jump shot once in a while that can move well with the ball to now somewhat of a long range facilitating power f a power guard that can transition into three different positions and has been an all-time scorer. Zion has a run at least less than that over 190 games played. Well, we got players around starting positions in the NBA with over 300. Kobe White as well. That's been an exceptional guard for this, e for this league. For the Chicago Bulls. We don't even know what the fuck Zion is. Because he only played six games over 22 points. The best I can leverage over is just waiting until his contract expires. Because there's no fucking shot. He would still be on my team. If there's already so much that he can't get done. 
if it's been six years. You, I feel like for an NBA contract, it's either age 22 or I lost my investment. The most he played was last year when he had 20, 70 games. Out of 29, and we're like over 20 games, near 20, over, uh, near 25 games in the NBA season. We're possibly over that right now. And he only played six? What, what type of investment am I getting out of this? The Pelicans, the Pelicans gotta think this. And most people are saying to possibly waive him. But that would be just two took, uh, like, and that's the first overall pick. And with all NBA potential, and he comes up always looking overweight. I have, n uh, just like, uh, just like Shannon Sharp, I feel no sympathy for Zion Williamson. Because knowing the NBA talent gap, there is a suitable replacement that I'd rather try to tank. For a possible chance for a Cooper Flag. That would possibly be more versatile, more discipline, and be a key contributor over on a team. The minimum you could even average for Zion can be done. We had Terro Zero already dropped 20. Any uh, uh, any average NBA player around that's a key third option, like Norman Powell could possibly drop 23, 25 over a lack of injury history. But no, I want Zion Williamson, the key draw that never shows up. Like, are you kidding me? This is a joke. If this is over a semblance of mediocrity, that the Pelicans accept that they want to suit, like any suit of optimism around their tenure, when if this guy is here in the next two seasons, and they ain't shit but a just a pseudo play-in team, and then they're just not not good and not bad, you would just be like what the Charlotte Hornets were around their early to mid 2010s. So what? Uh, so you guys gotta like understand. That Zion can't be an on-forward investment. You are sixering yourself. Nobody wants to go full sixers and not get anything out of the return. So I don't know if you want to do a multi-trade option to push Brandon Ingram to a suitable replacement. You have Jordan Hawkins. You got some good, legit young talent that can develop over with Willie Green. That have NBA experience. Un unless you guys are willing over to fire him. And just do a full restart. Because if y'all got like. Nick Claxton. Daniel Gafford. Was also in this draft class. Darius. Gar we got all stars. And Zion's only be like. A minimum at least two all star appearances. While John Morant's probably going to make one. When he's healthy. And Darius Garland as well. That's a second, uh, one of uh, one of the best second option guards in the Eastern Conference. So that's just very like low IQ front office work, knowing like this is what you get from Zion Williamson now. Questions off his weight, missing appearances in the regular season majority of his contract, and he doesn't show up around the postseason. And he already gives, like, a dodgy questions over on the media about his avail availability. Alicia Will Embiid actually wins MVPs. And majority of the time, he appears whenever they get eliminated from the playoffs. Well, I just don't see an endgame out of this. That doesn't really provide any benefit to the New Orleans Pelicans than it is for the Philadelphia 76ers or the Miami Heat. that are possibly in turmoil after their chances to contend are done. That's it for me over on the DSC show. I'm sorry, this has been pissing me off for the past, uh, what, four, it's been six years?
at this point when people thought he was going to be the next big thing? Yeah, he is the next big thing, and but not in that way. Like the Jamarcus Russell way. That's it for me on the DSD Show. Like, comment, subscribe for more. I hope you guys enjoyed your Thanksgiving. I'm going to take some Tylenol.